With that being said, it is time, baby! Time for yet another break, Cardboard of Moses with you. Welcome, it is time for our lone eBay break of the day. 2019 score football three box break number one. My boy got Pittsburgh and uh, <clears throat> in Jacksonville. Very nice, very nice. Thank you for joining the breaks, my man. And good luck to you. All right, so we have a full case here. <clears throat> so open this thing up. I'm going to get three. It's only a three box break. Uh, we have half case breaks on our website if you're interested. Uh, RipCityCards.com. New customers save $15 on their first purchase. So if you are interested in some score football, check out our website. We also have uh, Contenders Draft Picks boxes available if you're interested. All right. So trying to dig out this last box here <clears throat> I basically got three boxes all from one side there you have it all right let's rip this stuff all righty my boy going for the Kentucky players. Oh, that's what UK football stands for. University of Kentucky. I thought it was like, you know, across the pond type of deal. Should have, should have, should have, should have put two and two together. Man, it's kind of hot in here. Let me lower the AC. Sheesh. No wonder it's hot in here. They got this thing at 76. That is hot. Anyways. Who's the big uh, Kentucky player? I think it's, what's his name, Josh Allen? What's up, Steve? Happy Friday, my dude. Hope all is well. Dude, it is hot in this office, man. I hope that AC is working because if it's not, it's going to be a long day. It is particularly hot today in uh, good old Miami, Florida. Alrighty. Let's uh, make it even hotter with some good hits here. Good luck, y'all. Right, this is the base set, which is not shipping. First autograph is Zach Allen. Right there. I'm not sure what school he goes to. I'm sorry, uh, not the school. What team he goes to. Uh, but let me look the checklist up here. All right. I got it pulled up already, luckily. Zach Allen is a Cardinal. So that goes to the Cardinals. Uh, what's up, Richard? How are you, my man? Happy Friday. So I'm going to make a note of this, help my uh, sorters out. I'm sorry, Zach Allen is Cardinals. Uh, I don't know if I said that already, but you know. 
Appreciate you, Steve. Appreciate you. You know, today uh, being Friday, hopefully we have uh, some peeps in here ready to get some breaks popping. So once I'm done with this uh, eBay break here, we'll start going to, to work on the uh, on the website stuff. How's everything with you, Steve? Hope you're having a great day so far. And hopefully I will make it even better with the lovely, lovely hits later tonight. We got Deshaun Jackson to 50 bucks. Sounds good, Richard. Yeah, man, we got the pre-sale going for that. Uh, tier 1, I believe, comes out uh, next week, Wednesday. Uh, SP here for Sean Gar uh, Gary. We got Tier 1, and we got Spectra basketball pre-sale in the store. How's everything with you, Richard? Hope all is well. Now Gardner, uh, Gardner Minshew here to 30. By the way, you know, for, for those of you that are watching, I don't know if you're watching at home on your computer or on the phone or whatever, but on the, uh, on the chat there, I just put a link to the checklist. I know it's kind of hard to follow along with this. Unless you know what you know, what player your team drafted by heart, uh, you know the players are still in their college uniform and whatnot. Uh, so the checklist there in the chat is a uh, a great resource to uh, to figure out what player goes where. All right. So our single white side here that is an SP. These uh, NFL draft inserts are apparently short printed. Well, Richard, I'm glad that you're doing good. Hopefully, uh, we'll do even better to, uh, later today. Aaron in the house? Do my eyes deceive me? I haven't seen that name in the chat in a long, long time. Well, damn, Steve. You just be just be glad you're not in Florida right now. Lewis Lips with the uh, buyback. Chris Fitz, you are correct. Correct. It is it is Brown Jason. How are you? So Fitch, you never told me how you how you felt about uh, Endgame. I rated a seven out of ten. I don't know, Fitz. Uh, you know, uh, I guess he decided to just not show up. David Sills the fifth with the autograph here. Now we uh, we we made a little switch Roni again, Aaron. Dude, you have if, if you haven't seen Endgame yet, Aaron. All right, fine. No spoilers. No spoilers. All right, Fitz. I'll agree with you on that. I will agree with you on that. One hundred percent. Mind you, it wasn't even a full three hours. Like I hate that people keep. Oh, dude, it's a three-hour long movie. It's three hours with the previews and the credits and all that stuff included. It's two hours, 45 minutes tops, if that. It's more like two and a half, 240. Ain't no damn three hours. That That is false advertisement. Working like a dog, I heard that. Trust me, Aaron, I will not uh, be dropping any spoilers. 
Uh, Chris Fitz, uh, hashtag feminism is what I got to say to that uh, that statement there. That's that's the first thought I saw. I was like, wow, really? They're t they're going this far? Anyway, David Sills the fifth with the Bills autograph. But Aaron, it's, it's nice to see you again, man. I'm go hopefully everything is well. Turn that frown upside down, baby. That's that's what I that's what I does. That's what I do. Uh, Chris Fitz, I'll give you a guess as to which day I have off. If if you're truly my bestie, like like I like to think that you are, you know, basically the white version of me. You'll you'll know what. Day. There you go, Fitz. There you go. I I knew that we had something special. Dude, Aaron, honestly, I don't like I don't like Rosen, dude. Like just off just looking at his numbers and just his over like just just honestly look he he just has a dumb look on his face at all times. Like I I I, I mean, I'm giving the kid a clean slate. He's only what, 22, 23 years old. So, you know, I, I well, he can't be any worse than Tannehill. He can't be any worse than Tannehill. Anyway, Kevin Biard, Titans autograph. Dude, I hope Kyler Murray works out for you guys. Because if, uh, if Rosen balls out for the Dolphins and Murray does not for the Cardinals, oh boy. <laughs> Dude, Aaron, you know, that's what a lot of people are saying, but I'm, dude, I'm, the Dolphins have, you know, whooped me into submission with their mediocrity, so, when I see it, I will believe it. Jordan Howard to 20 for the Bears, plus, if we suck, Tua next year, baby, we're drafting Tua with that number one pick. Noah Fant? With the draft, honestly, at this point, I would much rather we, you know, completely squander this upcoming season. I mean, you know, build up the O line and and you know work on the defense and blah blah blah. But you know, secretly, I I feel like the coaches are telling the players like, "Yo, all right, y'all boys, like, we're gonna go out here. You know, we're gonna pretend to play football, but you know what I'm saying? You know, do, don't try to win." Unless it's the Patriots, fuck the Patriots. You know, everyone else, you know, just just go out there, pretend to play some football, and you know, do not win the game. Do not win the game. Randall Cobb to thirty-five Packers. Dude, tanking for Tua, tanking for Tua. David Montgomery with the SP. I mean, listen, if Rosen has one year, if he can turn things around in Miami in this one year, like if we can if we can finish above 500 and, and maybe even make it as a wild card, we'll probably stick with Rosen. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm with you, Fitz. I would I would much rather we tank not only this season but the next season, because as, as much as I like Tua, I would much rather have uh, that kid out of Clemson, my boy Trevor Lawrence. Uh, UK football, we always uh, well for this break it's a little bit difficult. For these cards right here, the rookie cards, we gotta go off the checklist. So whatever the checklist says, that's what we do. Uh, but these cards right here, these cards are not shipping. These are what you call veteran base cards, and they are not shipping. It, it does state so in the description of the eBay break. All right. Tua's going to be a bust. I don't know, man. Tua... Not, not only did Tua take Jalen Hurts' job, and not only... Jalen Hurts was... He wasn't the great the greatest quarterback, but he was solid. You know, he put up solid numbers for Alabama. 
when he was their quarterback. When Tua, dude, not only did Tua take over in a national championship game, he led them and came back on, you know, like he he, he led them, you know, to a comeback victory. And uh, his numbers have just been astounding. Uh, yeah, inserts do. So, like, these cards right here, these are inserts. They, they do ship. Uh, Jalen Hurt. Yeah, whatever. Jalen Hunt, Jalen Hurt, whatever. You know, don't don't sleep on Tua, man. I think Tua is going to be really good, but I'll admit Trevor Lawrence, by far the best quarterback in college football right now. When that kid comes out, oh, boy. Uh, Tyree Jackson, six of ten. Yeah, honestly, I would I would much rather we tank, like I said, this season and the next, so we can get two. Not not two, so we can get uh, Trevor Lawrence. Tyree Jackson is a Bill. Damn, Bill's doing work right now with their rookies. Um. I'm going to, I mean, listen, Sam Bradford, I mean, he's only the highest paid, you know, quarterback in the league, right? So, I mean, yes, he's he's not the greatest on the field, but the dude's getting paid. Johnny Football, I could, you know, I could have told you that he was going to be a bust. Tim Tebow, same deal. You know, those two agreed, great college quarterbacks, terrible in the pros. Bradford on the other, I mean, Bradford is, Bradford's not bad. But he's not great either. Oh, dude, bigger than that, man. Bigger than that, Fitz. Dude, Trevor Lawrence could be like the next, the next fucking Elway, dude. Straight up. Like the kids got the goods. Like, like he has all the all, all the check marks. Like if, if you had. A checklist for what you would want in a quarterback. Trevor Lawrence marks everything off. Damian Harris with the SP here. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's... You know, Andrew Luck has dealt with a lot of injuries, unfortunately, in his career. And uh, he, here's a fun statistic. Uh, at one point, him and Ryan Tannehill had, like, the exact same numbers. And uh, that's not a person you exactly want to uh, be compared to. But, you know, yes, coming out, of yeah, coming out of college, Andrew Luck was pretty hyped. I, yes, I would agree with that. I would agree. Steve, I agreed 100%, man. Dude, I, I could have told you. I did. I called it, like, many, many. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't a breaker, so I didn't have, like, a voice or whatever. But, uh, but dude, I'm telling you. I knew Baker Mayfield was going to be a stud for the exact same reason that, that Johnny Football was not. You know, Johnny Football came from money. You know, he never he never had to want for anything his entire life. You know, he's an, an entitled, you know, little rich trust fund baby. Baker Mayfield, complete opposite. They might have the same, you know, characteristics as far as maybe their personality and like their confidence and things like that. But Baker's confidence comes from, you know, constantly proving people wrong. And, and, you know, fighting for everything he's ever got. Like, that that is why Baker Mayfield is a stud. The kid grinds, man. Like, e everywhere he went, like, he walked on twice. Like, who walks on twice to a college football program? In, in a Power 5 conference at that. And wins the Heisman as a walk-on. So, 
So hope yeah, I'm 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 like we're we're trying we're starting to see like a little trend in, in, in football now, where quarterbacks are kind of getting smaller, and more and, and a little bit more faster. You know the, the game is evolving outside of the pocket. So it's gonna be I I'm really interested to see how Kyler Murray is gonna do in the NFL. I I think he's gonna struggle honestly. Quentin Nelson to fifty Colts like. I felt like they should have kept Rosen out there in Arizona. Kept Rosen, let him start, let Kyler Murray just you know sit for a year or two, you know give give and give Rosen a shot. If it doesn't work, you got Kyler right there. And Damian Harris SP, but whatever. You know they got they got a new coach out there, a whole new regime in Arizona, so they just wanted to get a clean start. As a Dolphin fan, though, like I, I don't necessarily like getting another team scraps. Like if you gave away your, if you literally, you they literally gave away their first round pick for a second round pick, and I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, nice one, Greedy Williams, and it's number thirty five. A lot of people putting uh, the Browns in the Super Bowl, including Greedy Williams. Like, dude, you haven't even played a down in the NFL, and you're already calling Super Bowl? Sheesh. I, you know, Steve, I, I agree. I, you know, uh, I, I always, you know... Hope for the Patriots' uh, the demise, and you know, week in, week out. That's right. They did trade up with. Uh, I think they drafted him with a third pick, and they traded up to get Rosen, and then to just give up on the kid after a year because this kid Kyler Murray's up for grabs. Like, man, I. I yeah, Rosen. Ho hopefully, Rosen gets you know takes this as, and and just becomes a freaking stud. All right, Jackie Slater with the buyback for the Rams. Oh, they took him twelve. Oh, I thought he was like a top five pick or something. Regardless, to, to tr that is just crazy. Ah, your boy Sammy D. The rookie started training camp already, I think, uh, in the in, in the fool's ball. Dolphins need to re-sign this guy, man. Xavier Howard, best corner in football. We have Nick Brosetti. And this guy clearly uh, does not know how to. Well, maybe he does know how cursive. He just terrible handwriting. Terrible handwriting. Uh, Mr. Brosetti, uh, what team do you go to? Uh, it would help if I knew how to spell Brosetti. Uh, he goes to the Patriots. There you go. Oh, so automatically, I don't like this guy. Put her on a post-it note. Not only uh, for the recap later, but also for my sorters to help them out a little bit. I wonder what's going to happen this fr uh, this Sunday, Game of Thrones. We have Jalen Moore to 35 with the artist proof. You think so, Fitz? They're probably going to build us up to something next week. I mean, there's only what? There's only three episodes left? 
I mean, so they're, they're going to have to start wrapping things up eventually. Rashawn Gary, the ESP. Three episodes left, yeah, so. They're going to have to start wrapping things up. Yeah, usually that's it's usually how it goes in, uh, in Game of Thrones, Steve, you know. I don't know if you actually like watch it, watch it, but it's uh, it's pretty intense. I uh, I wouldn't say I'm a huge like big fan of it, but definitely a fan. Honestly, Chris Fitz, I'm 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 thinking one of the Starks. I'm I'm thinking one of the Starks got to go. Like, like, a lot of people died last week, but, you know, not enough to my liking. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but. Brian Aragpo to 30 for the Titans. What's up, Michael Perez? Hope all is well. Ah, good old Miami. It was sunny like half an hour ago, and now I'm about to have a thunderstorm. Awesome. Uh, Hakeem Butler. Well, Michael Perez, dude, we, we're actually not shipping uh, the paper bait. Like, the veteran base cards are not shipping. But, uh, with that being said, I'll do something nice for you. Ah, UK football, there, there's also nude women, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff. And I just, dude, I just, I just, I just love how no character is safe. No worries, Michael. That's my thing, you know. I, I hate it how, in, you know, in shows it's, it's oh, you know, oh, happy-go-lucky, rainbows and, and cupcakes, and, you know, the good guy always wins. Not in Game of Thrones. You know, anybody can get it. No offense. With the SP, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the writing on the show. It's, it's very, uh, I like it, man. Keeps you on your toes, keeps you guessing. I hate watching a show and knowing like exactly what the next thing is gonna happen. Well, listen, UK football, you know, you you don't have to add. It's a, a, a wise man once told me many moons ago, it's better to ask uh, for forgiveness than for permission. You know, worst come to worst, if she barges in on you watching it, like, what is this, UK football? You can always be like, well, baby, this is, I'm watching Nat Geo. It's, it's a documentary. You know, so what do you want me to tell you? Adam Humphreys with a bug in your song, right? <laughs> Wow. Steve, uh, I don't know about the second part of your statement, but the first part would actually be kind of uh, a bit of poetic justice, uh, kind of, sort of. I feel like Tyrion's going to die, maybe next episode. Somebody important got to die. Somebody. I need blood, damn it. I might just have to rewatch last week's episode. It was that my me and my boy were talking last night. Like, it was la was last week's episode the best Game of Thrones episode? And I would have to say it probably is, man. To me, it's the best episode. The next best episode, probably uh, the Battle of the Bastards, was probably pretty good. Uh, uh. I mean, I would have to rewatch. The prior six seasons or whatever, because I, I can't remember every episode off the top of my dome. But the Battle of the Bastards definitely sticks out to me. And dude, just last week's episode was epic, bro. Karen Higdon right there with the autograph. When Danny walks out the fire, nah, not impressed. Not impressed. I will say the scene when Dra uh, when Drago or whatever his name is uh, gives Danny's brother the uh, the crown of gold that was pretty badass. Anyways, this Karen Higdon goes to the Texans. 
Ah, uh, dang it! I'm trying to I'm trying to find a loophole for you, UK. I'm trying to find a loophole for you. Oh, there's a Derek Carr right here. Michael Perez. That's even better than uh than a base card. I mean again, I'll take care of you. But uh, there you go, kind of speaking that somewhat into existence. Pretty cool. Uh Derek Carr to 35 for the Raiders. Listen, man, not not for nothing, like, the numbered, like, the color in this is pretty sweet. Like, the inserts are nice looking. The veteran base cards are kind of boring, to be honest. But when they're numbered, like, they're parallels, they're pretty sweet. David Montgomery SP there. Like, the, this is the rookie base. that eh, kind of bland. left Whoop. so Chris Fitz I'm looking into buying a new car It's uh it's an Acura ILX. Yeah, it's a it's fully loaded. It's like less than 35 grand. Not, there you go, UK. I mean, yeah, dude, dude, make, I mean, shipping the base in this would be ridiculous. Oh no no new new like like brand new like zero miles on that sucker fits or you know the one two three miles that, that it has driving to and from the factory or around the factory or whatever. I'm talking brand spanking new. I'll trade my my baby my baby in if I can get like eight grand out of it. It'd be it'd be perfect. I mean, I was looking into other cars too. Like I was thinking about staying with Honda. Acura is actually the luxury brand of Honda, so I'm kind of still sticking with them. Uh, I was, dude. I was looking into maybe getting a Toyota Camry because right now I have a coupe. I'm looking to get like a you know a bigger car, you know, a, a sedan. Um, and just I was doing some shopping and you know. Acura is considered a luxury brand, and for less than like less than thirty four k, I can get an Acura ILX for cheaper than like than a than a freaking Camry loaded or or a, or an Accord or a Maxima or anything like that. So. You have a 2019 TLX? Yeah, the TLX is a little out of my price range. You know, I was doing some research. And I agree, Chris Fitz. Dude, I've, I've had... I The worst car I probably ever had was a European car. It was actually... I think it was German. Uh, whoever makes Volkswagen. I had a 2001 Volkswagen Jetta. Piece of crap. Uh, but, yeah, dude. I've, my first car was a Mazda. Uh, my second car was a Nissan. Then I had that Jetta, and then uh, ever since then, uh, I've had my Honda, and she's been holding me down. 
Never had a problem with my Honda. And it's paid off. Yeah, it's completely paid off. So, you know, I'm thinking about trading it in. And I was looking at the Kelly Blue Book. And I, sh I should be able to get at least 8K out of it. Even though I paid, like, over 20. But whatever. It's the name of the game. Exactly. The entire trading would go towards the purchase of the car. So I'm thinking I would have to finance anywhere from 20 to 25 grand or, or whatever, which is not bad. I can pay that off in a few years. Dude, I, pay, dude, I paid my Civic off in like two years, man. I put, I put in work to get that baby paid off. Yes, I am fully aware of that, Fitz. No offense, SP. Nice UK football. I was, you know, I was thinking about getting like a SUV or like a crossover or something like that. But then I was like, nah. Zach Allen with the autograph. Well, listen, Fitz. If I can get at least, if they give me 10 grand for my car, I'm fucking ecstatic. If they give me anything less than seven, I'm going to slap somebody in the face. Zach Allen goes to the Cardinals, by the way. So that's that's my plan. Uh, I'm going to stack a little paper up for a few more months. I'm going to hit that dealership. And I already know what I want. It's all white with the inside red and black. Murdered out. With the 18-inch black rims, baby. Looking cleaner than a mug. I hear you, UK. I hear you. Now, and, and that's another thing I'm starting to think about. Like, I'm almost, you know, I'm about to be 30 years old. You know, I, the coop life was cool. But, you know, it's time for a sedan. It's time for a sedan. You know, having relations in a coupe, not exactly, you know, comfortable. But at least with a sedan, at least I got, you know, at least I got a, a an entire back seat to play with. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, Henry Ellard with the Rams buyback. Rams with two buybacks right there. Listen, if they offer me less than $7,000 for my car... I'm not. Um, if they give me seven thousand, I'll take it. If they give me anything less than that, I'm walking out that bitch. I mean, listen. At the end of the day, my car is paid for, so I'm 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 good. David Montgomery with the SP. I'm right there. I'm not a fan of Chrome either, Fitz. Uh, have you heard? There's there's this actually. There's like a spray on. It's kind of like a latex material or something like that. That was actually the goal, Chris Fitz. Get out of my head. That's actually when I planned on, on, on getting the car. Around September, October, you know, around that time. They, they have like sales or whatever. With the new inventory coming in, the 2020 models or whatever. Or do you know something else that I don't? But yeah, dude, look into like that. There's like a latex spray that you could like spray it on your rims, and then uh, if you ever get tired of it, you could just peel it off. Ah, gotcha, Fitz. Yeah, that's the yes, correct. Deron Lee, look, your boys for the Jets to thirty. Ah, my boy with the knowledge. I see you, Fitz. That's why I keep you around, man. You be knowing things every now and then. Elijah Hollyfield. Hollyfield. Wow. Holyfield. How dare I? The man, the, the dude is literally the son of a former world heavyweight champion. Except he has both his ears. Elijah uh, Holyfield. Uh, however, I don't know what team he belongs to. Holy Field is a Panther. Dude, you drop you whipping around a Titan? That's a big ass truck, bruh. 
That thing is huge. You compensate? You overcompensating over there, big guy? No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm not really about that truck life. And if I was to get a truck, I was actually looking at them Ford Raptors. Them Ford Raptors look cleaner than a mug. But man, gas on a truck is ridiculous. That's why I got a Honda in the first place. That thing is economical AF. Devin Funches to 50 Panthers. Damian Harris, SP. Breaks almost over. I promise. Yeah, the Tacoma's not that big, now that I think about it. But yeah, Tacoma's a pickup, ain't it? Toyota. We got Jeffrey Simmons to 50. Right here. I got five boxes left of Contenders, Blob. If you're interested, I can give you a deal. Yeah, I was thinking of the Tundra. I was like, is that... I was like, big truck, little truck. But yeah, the Tacoma's the smaller pickup, and the T dude, the Tacoma is f fucking huge. Will Greer SP. See now, now I kind of want a truck because as a man, throw it, throw it, throw that throw that some bitch in the truck. Go throw that thing back there, especially in Florida. You know when the eventual hurricane comes. I can't really, you know, put things in the back of the in the back of Dahlia in my little coop. You know, I'm about to fuck up my little coop. But you know, I, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that pickup. I'll just I'll, I'll, maybe maybe next time. Well, Chris Fitz, you know, um, how about when I go buy my car, you, you you fly down, you know, do the, neg the negotiating for me, then, you know, then we'll go for a steak over at, uh, over at Shula's on Miami Beach, and, uh, you know, I, I call the old, uh, the old Robert Kraft special into the room, you know, that way you have a little happy ending, you know, as, as a little thank you for me to you, you know what I'm saying? Jalen Hurd with the autograph. Joe Pa! Yes, Blob, I, I, I know this too. Dude, I'm, I've been doing some research, man. Yeah. This goes to the Niners. What's up, Joe Pa? No way, Chris Vince, no way. Dude, I don't have enough, like, yo, que pena. I have, like, yo, I'm shameless, but, bro, there's levels. That level I have not unlocked. Maybe my mom, maybe my mom would do that, because I've seen my mom cry to get out of, like, speeding tickets and things like that. <laughs> but as far as a car's concerned, bro, I would be blushing red in the face, bro, like... I don't think I have the the wherewithal. I don't have the gall to do something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Dude, man, bring. Give, can I borrow your mom? You know, she just, I'm, I'm I'm adopted. You know, we'll have, we'll get a whole sob story. Um, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, dude, I, Joe Pa, it's real simple. A 2019 uh, Acura ILX, fully loaded. I'm talking, I'm talking the the A spec, the 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 premium, and the technology the technology package all all in one, which retails for like less than 33k. Jeffrey Simmons with the autograph, dude. Listen, 
at that point fits i would have to agree i just man i i can't find it as a man i could not do that i just i could not do that like every time i'd get in the car i, I would feel some form of guilt all right this is jeffrey simmons i don't know where he goes but luckily for me, I got the checklist up. It's a Titan. Jeffrey Simmons is Titans. Uh, yeah, I got a few of those fits. <laughs> oh, I want to see where you go with this one. Yeah, I know, I know a few of those bum-ass biddies. I'm going to see a few of them on Sunday. Cinco de Mayo! Who else is celebrating uh, Cinco de Mayo on Sunday? Which is, you know, just another excuse to get litty lit. Oh, we got a little one-of-one -one mojo here. Julian Edelman, the one of one printing plate for the Patriots. There you go. Too bad it's not autographed. Oh snap fits. Yo, that just might that just might be the ticket right there. Hakeem Butler. Yo, you might be on one right there, Fitz. Your cat's birthday is single de Mayo? That's pretty pimp. Damn, I know just who the girl to bring, too. Like, we're friends. Like, we hooked up back in the day, but we're still friends. Whatever that means. So, uh, you know, she would be good. She'd be good in that role. Oh, man, Fitz, I might just really do this. That's his name, Crash? <laughs> That's adorable. Happy birthday to Crash. Did you did you did you get him like a bunch of uh what's it called? Catnip? Apparently uh, catnip is like cocaine to cats. Or something like that, I don't know. There it is, that catnip, that catnip. What did I say? I don't know what I said. But anyways, uh, that is it for the break. All right, so this is what we got. Recap time. Uh, Julian Edelman, 101 printing plate for the Patriots. Uh, here are the buybacks. We got Henry Ellard Rams, Jackie Slater Rams, and Louis Lips of the Steelers. Uh, we are seeing this how this break does take forever. I'm gonna also do a recap of the uh, parallels here. All right, so we got parallels for Jackson Bucks to fifty, Minshew to thirty. Howard Bears to 20, Randall Cobb Packers 35, Nelson Colts 50, Jalen Moore to 35, Aragbo Titans to 30, Derek Carr Raiders 35, Devin Funches Panthers to 50, Der uh, Deron Lee Jets to 30, Jeffrey Simmons to 50. All right, and here are the autos. We got Jeffrey Simmons Titans. Jalen Hurd, Niners. Elijah Holyfield, Panthers. Uh, Karan Higdon, Texans. 
Adam Humphreys, Bucks. Nick Brosetti, Patriots. Greedy Williams to 35. Browns. Tyree Jackson, 6 of 10 for the Bills. Kevin Biard, Titans. David Sills, the fifth for the Bills. Zach Allen for the Cardinals, not once, but twice. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you, eBay.